This month marks nine years of the price of freedom right here on News Channel 9. We continue to find amazing stories all across our community. Tonight, the story of a man in Eastridge who fought in a battle in Vietnam that often makes the list for the most intense and most significant battles in American military history. The Battle of Way City during the Tet Offensive. It's something that, you know, you can never, you'll never forget. A book full of stories that Larry Lewis thinks about often, but only started to talk about a few years ago. It's like, I guess, burying in a uh, landfill or something. You, you bury it and you figure that it'll stay there, but it's like sewage. It, over the years, it's kept seeking, seeping back up, you know, and trying to uh, rear its ugly head. He says some of his close friends never even knew he was in Vietnam, much less the historic battle he fought through. The first day there, we lost our uh, commanding officer, the executive officer. After the first day, we had no officers left. The Battle of Way City started at the end of January and lasted until March 2nd, 1968. Thousands of men fought there. Larry was told he was one of seven members of the 1st Marine Division who was there when it started and was still fighting when it ended. To see those guys, uh, you know, walking around, refusing to be medevac, we'd send them to the medevacs and they'd turn around and walk right back. But, it, you know, it, it was just pure Marine Corps. You know, they, they didn't want to leave the brother. Five Medal of Honor recipients fought there. Two, Larry knew well. Alfredo Gonzalez was killed at Waste City. John Canley was awarded the medal in 2018. Larry Lewis was there at the White House that day. He's more like a big brother, but he's more uh, a mentor. You know, he taught me first how to be a man, how a man's supposed to act. And then he taught me how to be a Marine. Larry received a Purple Heart from the battle, and just a few weeks ago, he was awarded a Bronze Star, an honor that came 54 years after the fighting stopped at Way City. There is so much to Larry Lewis's story. A lot of it's never been told publicly. In fact, yesterday when I was at his home having that conversation, his wife of almost 40 years, Kathy, told me he said more in that conversation about Vietnam than she has ever heard him say before. We'll have much more of Larry's story coming soon on The Price of Freedom.